Welcome back to the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire special demo version playthrough. And this was just ridiculous. Finally, I've got this. This took the better part of half a day. Yes, half a day of soft resetting to get this. Oh, the things I go through for stuff like this. Yeah. Half a day of soft resets just to get this. So, you'll know that you've got the secret mission when Steven says this line. It looks as though running them off once wasn't enough. That foolish team is back and causing more trouble. There we go! I didn't count the number of soft resets I did. It's definitely more than 100, probably around 200, maybe more. I'd estimate the chance of this showing up is maybe about 1% at most. It's a very, very low chance. And it is pretty much pure chance. There's nothing you can do about this apart from just soft resetting a lot. Once you've got it once though, you never have to worry about going through this pain again. So yeah. Now also there are two versions of the, sp of the secret mission. I actually have no idea which one this is going to be. So this is going to be interesting. So... Here we go, I guess. Now, this might be a quasi-blind run because I actually haven't done the secret mission before. Again, over six hours of soft resetting and I haven't got it in my other game, but I finally got it in this one after a lot of dedication. Oh boy, that was annoying. So we have a slightly different island here, it looks like. Okay, it's Team Aqua this time. That's actually kind of interesting, since I'm actually partly considering... I'm probably more leaning towards um, doing Alpha Sapphire for the main run. So yes, there's two versions of this secret mission. Either Team Magma or Team Aqua. And I plan on showing both of them. So, that's our first, um, well, listen to May's new theme, which I actually quite like it, it's pretty cool. Uh, you don't get to hear Brendan's theme in this version, of course, since it's always May who'll be your NPC partner for this. I think someone might be pulling the strings behind our meetings. But, we actually get to have May as a partner here, finally! and we get to move as well. Looks like there's a little cave down there, and just a little cliff over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Sceptile for this, seeing as we're going up against Team Aqua. Probably won't make much of a difference though, since we'll mostly probably be seeing just Puchiennas and stuff. Yeah, and chances are our part is the only part we'll get. So, let's head on into this cave. Okay, there's actually quite a few grunts around here. Is there another Mega Revolving Pokémon on this island? It would have been cool if they'd actually given you, like, Steelix in the American version, or, um, Glalie in the Japanese version for the secret mission, but I don't think they do. Is this the first time their leader's been mentioned by name? It might be. And of course, now there's two of us, we can fight in double battles. No, I don't think so. Here we go. And they do menacing poses for a second and then drop them immediately. Yep, finally Team Aqua double battle. And the two signature Pokemon, Puchiana and Kavana. I want to check what the levels are for this. Right, you. Now, if Steven's thing was to be believed, okay, their levels, I guess, are a little bit higher. Still not that great. If the thing with Steven was to be believed, I don't think we can actually check the stats of our partner's Pokemon, but yes, May has a Raichu here. 
I believe that's actually been added to her team since the original versions, but I don't want to speak more because, well, it's spoilers pertaining to, um, team dumps from the, from the demo data. But, Kavana goes down, uh, of course, Sceptile, there's actually no way for Sceptile to avoid activating Rough Skin except through, um, well, a Righteous Thunderbolt's gonna be pretty useful against Team Aqua, actually. Except through Frenzy Plant, but I don't want to use that at all. I didn't think there was a way to be demoted further than Grunt. <laughs> Yes, of course it wasn't hand-to-hand. -hand. Pokemon battles are not fought that way. Uh, no thanks. Okay, there- wait a minute. Why are we going this way? Yeah, you're saying the same thing, and you're probably saying the same thing. Yep. What about these two? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, everyone's crazy about Shelly. Okay, uh, apparently Shelly likes polka dolls. Interesting. Not exactly what you'd expect from a psychotic member of an evil gang bent on destroying all land in the world. More grunts, it looks like. So I guess we'll have to handle this together again. <laughs> well, I guess we are at this point. If by famous you mean blacklisted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Certainly seems like May's getting more exposure than Orlando here, but then again, he's a silent protagonist, so it's not like he gets much chance to actually establish a character for himself. And again, except I think it may be reversed. No, it's not reversed. It's exactly the same as last time. So chances are this battle is going to go exactly the same way as last time, except maybe I'm going to see what happens if I leaflate the Puchiena. Because chances are the Raichu was actually aiming for Kabana. Let's see if I'm... Well, it's got to target the Kabana now. I don't have any non-attacking moves I can use to waste my turn to see who Raichu was really targeting. Septo is faster than Raichu though, which is an interesting sign. <laughs> yeah, the life of a grunt, being beaten by kids repeatedly. Uh, because this is Pokemon. Which reminds me of weird supplementary materials from early in the anime where apparently 10-year-olds were considered legal adults in the anime's world, which explains how they can get arrested in a lot of episodes. But there's an exit up here. Okay, she had a head start on us. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that same plot that happened in X and Y with the rival ending up with a massive inferiority complex towards you. I really didn't like that all that much. It kind of made you feel too much like a jerk. Oh, there certainly are more bad guys, since I know for a fact that we end up fighting the... Speaking of the admin... Hi, admin! Yeah, he is pretty huge. He's like double the size of most people. Yes, that funny kid who just totally destroyed you. Admittedly, that was mostly Steven's doing. Wait a minute, didn't the girl fight them last time? Ah, uh, plot hole alert. Whoa. And suddenly battle. Okay. <laughs> this guy just wants to pummel anyone, doesn't he? Okay, looks like he's actually fighting with a somewhat decent team this time. I wonder who we should take out first, the random grunt or the admin? And apparently that mighty ender doesn't have intimidate, so it must have quick feet, okay. Yeah, if you don't see intimidate go off, it doesn't have it. Something tells me that later on in the game there's gonna be a um, horde battle against Team Aqua Grunts where they all send out five mighty enders that all have intimidate. That's gonna be kind of bad on physical attackers. 
but looks like this one doesn't have Intimidate, so that's at least helpful, especially since this Sceptile is sort of physical, as suboptimal as that is, and you were, of course, wanting to aim for Kavana. I'd much rather focus on Matt, though, because um, he's definitely the bigger threat in this matchup. Oh, that could throw things off later. Hey, look, it's a little doggy and a big doggy now. And Sceptile is almost certainly slower than Raichu at this point, so I'm going to go and see if I can take out the smaller one. Except Raichu's aiming for the weaker ones, okay? Well, at least this means that Matt's isolated, and chances are his next Pokemon is going to be Sharpedo, and chances are it's going to be one-shotted by Thunderbolt before it could do anything. So I guess this was a somewhat okay strategy. Actually, scratch that. Uh, we are now most likely slower than Sharpedo. So Matt's at least going to show off one thing he can do, and I'm going to get one level off, uh, level up to end off the demo. I, uh, I mean, to end off this mission, I guess. Level 34 is decent, but we're higher. If I'm still faster than, no, nah, we're not faster. Okay, Crunch though, that is actually somewhat powerful. Definitely somewhat powerful, and I'm still faster than Raichu, so this should take you out, considering Sharpedo has like no defense whatsoever. Well, that wasn't so bad. A little, a, they put up a little bit more fight than they did in the first mission, though. So at least I'll give them that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently, he doesn't exactly care whether he's dishing out the pain or receiving it. Yeah, this is just a demo after all. Again, shameless plug for the real game, and wow, his smile is very creepy on his uh, 3D model there. Well, that was certainly interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> um, you might want to care a little more being about being blacklisted by a huge criminal organization. Then again, if they're if that was generally an indication of their competence. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, maybe we don't have to worry so much. You know what? I don't think you... You really don't need to be that hard on yourself. Your, um... Your Raichu was doing a pretty good job there. It never was at risk of fainting. In fact, I don't think it even took any damage at all. And you could have very easily taken out Sharpedo and probably Mighty Enter as well. I reckon May could have done that solo. What do you guys think? It is implied that I am talking, despite being a silent protagonist. So I guess that was it. That was pretty interesting though, at least we got a bit more story details. And we got to see May, and Steven supposedly... He would split up and look at other areas for stuff, but I don't remember him ever doing anything. So yeah, he left it all to us now. Ah, uh, you know, the usual, trying to catch legendary Pokémon, trying to destroy the world's ecosystem. Well, I guess this leads into the main game. There are no Pokémon on this island, May. Unless you're talking about the water. Okay, so yes, she is Professor Birch's daughter in the demo continuity. I always kind of wish that the anime had made her Professor Birch's daughter and not Norman's. It just just always felt like it just was, I don't know, kind of weird like that. But at least we got to see more of May. <laughs> Little May, hey, stop um, being patronizing to her like that. Then again, he is considerably taller than both of us. And once again, Latios Airlines. Hey, we'd fly Latios Airlines to um, the team that likes wearing blue. That makes a lot of sense. Chances are we'll probably be flying with Lati Ars to fight Team Magma later, but anyway. And you don't say anything special here, so that's the secret mission. There's no rewards for doing it, but it's just a good bit of extra gameplay and extra dialogue and... S I use story loosely, but kind of story. And it's gonna, you know, get you interested in fighting the evil team for the um, main games when they come out. So, yep, that is the Team Aqua version of the secret mission. However, once you've done the secret mission once, after the eternity the demo takes to reset itself, this is kind of annoying, but oh well, kind of have to live with it at this point, 
after you've done that once, if what I've heard is correct, and you go back into the special demo version, you know, I wonder if the team you get is based on what title screen you had, whether you have the bubbles or the magma? Anyway, if you talk to Steven from this point on, you have the option, let's go somewhere secrets. This will take you to the secret mission. Now, I'm not sure if there's a possibility I might get Team Aqua again. I don't know if it alternates or if it's random. So, I plan on showing the Team Magma version, but... There is a chance it may be random. I'm not entirely sure, um... Yeah, whether or not it's, again, randomized or if it alternates. So, I guess I'll get back to you on that. The annoying thing is, we actually can't tell whether it's Team Aqua or Team Magma until we actually, well, get into the mission and Steven mentions the team's name, so... I'll be right back in a bit. <laughs> 